What is up everybody and welcome to another sneak peek slash unboxing video. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at a few different things but while I talk about that let's go ahead and start getting this package open. So um, this is going to be as I'm sure the title suggests a sneak peek of uh, South African origin which is very exciting. As you guys know uh, there are some really excellent pieces coming out of South Africa. Uh, it's no secret that makers such as Andre Thorburn and Arukas Blomaris and many others almost just totally murdered myself there. should probably be more careful. Um, there's other makers too though and I was really interested in trying out some new things. So what we have here is an order from African Custom Knives. Um, I do want to give a little shout out to African Custom Knives. I am working with them on a project right now. By the way, beautiful box. Haven't seen this yet. This is actually my first order uh, that is coming from them. But I'm working with them right now on a little project. I'm hopefully, uh, or I'm looking forward to sharing that with you guys sometime in the fall. Uh, it will be a little while. There is a custom knife being made in the process. So um, that's not going to happen super fast. But I've been talking a lot with the guys over there and um, I'm very excited to be working with them. And uh, I was super pumped to be able to pick up this knife. It was on sale for from $320 to $250. And even though it's not really my normal jam, at that price, I just I couldn't pass it up. So this is cool. Uh, I didn't realize that they did their own packaging. Uh, if you guys don't know, African Custom Knives is a retailer for African Custom Knives. They are um, uh, selling some some non South African makers right now, um, but uh, that's kind of their basis is South African makers. Um, and beyond just being a dealer. Their goal is to be representatives of the African, the South African makers. Um, and so they do like part of their social media and they help build websites. I think they just finished Andre Thorburn's website, which looks great, by the way. You should definitely go check it out, especially if you're interested in seeing all of his different models and, and um, the measurements and everything. Um, so they're really cool guys and I really like what they're doing. I'm really happy to be working with them and I was really happy to support them by purchasing this knife um, and it was on sale. Now you can see, this does come from J.D. Vandeventer. I'm uh, probably not pronouncing that correctly, but J.D. is um, pretty well known as a South African maker at this point, mainly for his uh, front flippers, which is what this is going to be. So let's go ahead and crack this open. So as you can see here, we have this neat little card. You can see uh, proudly representing the very best custom knives from Africa. So that's really their MO is kind of being the liaison, the U.S. based liaison for these South African makers. Now, right off the bat, we see this beautiful, check out this little lizard. I had no idea this was coming my way. I'm assuming this is a, an African custom knives insert, not from JD. Um, but this thing is awesome. I would have... This is really nice. This is like a little handcrafted, uh, like gecko or something. That's amazing. That will go. You know, there's very few little knickknacks that I keep um, from like knife packaging and stuff like that. But now's a good little time to show you. I have two little things here. I have this little Lego knife that was given to me by um, Steve, who is Bold City on both Instagram and uh, on Reddit. I bought some knives off of Steve, uh, or specifically I bought that um, Olamic Wayfarer Custom uh, custom Compact that you guys saw a while back with the carbon fiber and the silver twill, and he sent me this little Lego sword, um, or Lego knife, I guess, if you want to play it that way, and I just thought that was amazing. Then I also have the Olamic Owl, which is the owl bead that Olamic sends to very few um, Olamic owners that are members of the Owl Club, uh, which is Olamic's ownership club. Um, and I picked this up in a, a sale, a secondary market sale, and Eugene was surprised <clears throat> to see that I had it, and he asked me where I got it, and I explained. It looks like he actually gave this to, um, oh god, what's the name? Something Cutlery. Uh, I'll have to look that, I'll, po I'll edit it into the video. Um, but, uh, yeah, they gave them this bead at the time of sale to the retailer, and then it's traveled with the knife ever since. So those are a couple little neat knickknacks. Um, I know I just like spaced out a bunch while I was trying to talk about that, but this will be added to 
my little knickknack pile. That's really exciting. Um, so this knife is not my normal knife in a lot of ways. One, it has G10. Two, it's a front flipper. And, um, wow. It's smaller than I thought. This is really nice. Um, and yeah, I don't own either of the... Oh, and it's also tipped down, which makes a little bit more sense for the front flipper, which is why I was okay with it, but I don't tip down carry usually. So this is three breaches of normalcy for me. Um, and you guys are probably going to see me more and more be breaking away from my uh, traditional uh, purchases and what I tend to look at because I'm interested in trying a few new things at, the t at uh, this moment. But when I saw this at this price, I just couldn't uh, pass it up. For $400 to about $445, depending on which retailer you're looking at, you can get one of these with um, the copper lightning strike carbon fiber, which looks really, really good. But I wasn't looking quite to spend that much, especially on something where I was testing out whether or not I like the front flipper, which I have no idea how to use, by the way. So I'm just going to roll it out to begin with. Um, and then the reason that I really push for this one is because it has the stonewashed finish on the bevels and the mirrored flat. And um, you guys probably know by now, it might actually even be an acid etch, quite frankly, now that I look more closely. Um, we'll call it a, a heavy stone wash for now, but I'll look more into that. Um, but I really like finishes that let me use knives. You'll rarely see me... Um, take a beautiful hand rub satin knife like a Thorburn to something that might scratch. So I will use my Thorburns and stuff and, and those other knives with nice finishes. I will use them to cut, um, but I won't usually push them into something that might like, that will near definitely scratch the knife, right? That's just um, something that I avoid, especially because I like to preserve value in my knives. So uh, whenever I see something interesting that does have a working finish on the blade, I usually jump on it. So between the discount and the working finish, I just, I knew this was the one for me to try out. Um, and I have to say right off the bat, I really don't know how to uh, use this at all. So I'm definitely going to make a fool of myself. I'm just going to continue to roll it out for now. Um, I'm going to have to train myself how to use this. There is no over travel stop, so I can get um, pretty far past that, but I don't want to get too much into talking about the knife. I just wanted to show it off to you guys. So it is running on IKBS. If I'm remembering correctly, doesn't, I don't actually see the IKBS logo. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to check that out, but I'm pretty sure this runs on IKBS. Um, it does feel pretty tight. It will probably need some breaking in. But uh, yeah, look forward to the full video on this. And then another little sneak peek. I already opened this knife because um, I actually picked up the package on my way to work, not at night. And so I opened it at work because I couldn't, uh, I couldn't bear to wait. But um, I have another interesting South African knife here, which is a Keith Kruger. I believe this is the K1 model. Let's double check. Um, but this is the Keith Kruger K1. And uh, if you aren't already familiar, Keith Kruger is the son-in-law to Andre Thorburn, which is why this looks a lot like a Thorburn. Um, they actually make their knives together. They sit at the same workbench, and you can imagine with Andre over Keith's shoulder, the um, knives that he's going to produce are going to be of excellent quality. This knife was another deviation from what I typically enjoy. Um, this is a full G10 scale, and it, it is an ivory-colored G10 inlay. So this is synthetic. And you can see it does indeed have bronze liners, which are um, basically my kryptonite. So I did purchase this knife with the express intent of immediately shipping it out to be recolored um, to have the liners redone in purple and that will be happening I got the go ahead from Thai Spectrum this morning so I was unable to ship out the knife um, today because I didn't get the go ahead until after I'd already left home but I will be disassembling this tonight and sending those liners off for color um, my original intent was to dye the inlays as well but I honestly it's not so much ivory colored like uh, I've got my Larevo here and you can see this is more of like a pale off white which I mean so is ivory but I don't know ivory has a little bit more yellow to it than this g10 inlay and so it really appears to me as more of a of a kind of faded white as opposed to a genuine ivory color um, and so I actually think I like it I think I like from the side profile of the knife 
the way that it looks the way it is. So I'm probably going to hold off on actually dyeing the inlays and just get the liners recolored in like a purple or a blurple or something like that. Um, but so definitely keep an eye out for Keith. His knives are really hard to find. He hasn't made a whole bunch that have uh, passed over to the U.S. market as far as I can tell. I don't actually know how long he's been making knives and all of that. I need to look further into that. But um, I've found very few, and there were a couple available on Blade Gallery, and they weren't quite to my liking. Um, and then literally by chance, I was spending a whole night browsing knives, um, doing some research, and trying to learn more about the South African knives and everything like that. And while I was doing that research, while I was scanning through Blade Gallery and uh, you know, refreshing pages and stuff. This literally went on sale at like 930 at night while I was doing that. And so like within a refresh, this popped up and it was just serendipity. And I just immediately bought it right away. Um, and I, I just, I liked it so much more than the other models that I saw that were available. Um, so I am going to hang on to this. I really enjoy this knife. It's really awesome. Um, and I look forward to sharing the full video on this with you guys, especially after it's complete. Um, and it does look like African Custom Knives, uh, they, I spoke with them today and they said that they are going to be getting a shipment of the Keith Krugers um, sometime in September, hopefully in time for uh, USN. So I do look forward to purchasing one of those at that time. Um, I'm really hopeful to get my hands on one. I discussed the, uh, they, they talked to me about the five different um, configurations that they're planning on ordering and I've already kind of told them which one is the one that I want and so you know hopefully I get the heads up and they let me buy it um early but uh we'll, we'll see if they give me that privilege but I really look forward to the opportunity to be able to pick up more of Keith's knives because obviously the price is super reasonable right now considering he's not quite as well known and the quality level that you get is is it feels like a young Thorburn honestly like it, it feels like Thorburn minus you know a a, a maybe a decade of experience, which is really cool. It's really nice to almost virtually travel back in time in that sense, but I really appreciate the knife. I really appreciate the work. Um, and then real quick, since it is a sneak peek video, most of you have probably already seen this knife. If you follow me on Instagram um, or if you watch the Blade Show vlogs, then you've already seen it. But I did pick up, obviously, another Thorburn L36M. Uh, and this I did get at Blade Show. Andre uh, brought it along just for me. And uh, there's a pretty cool story that I'll tell in the full video for this knife. Um, but yeah, so these are the three African customs that I have picked up. I, again, I still have no idea how to open this. I'll figure it out. Um, <laughs> when I was at, I know a lot of you were like, oh, you just have to, I understand. Um, when I was at Blade Show, I got handed about a dozen front flippers and I was unsuccessful at opening any of them. There's something about the ergonomics of a front flipper that I just haven't figured out yet, which is probably what's kept me straight away from them for so long. So I do look forward to off camera fumbling with this long enough to uh, finally understand the ergonomics of how to actually use it and uh, and have it function. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Do look forward to more South African knives on the table coming up. Um, I actually have something pretty special from another well-known South African maker that's already been mentioned in this video, and that is on its way and should arrive um, Tuesday of next week, which has no relevance depending on when you're watching this video, but um, that's about five days from, from recording this video. So I do look forward to having that. That will be four new South African knives in about a week. Um, and then I do have a couple other things, like I said, in the pipeline with African custom knives. So I'm very much looking forward to showing all of that to you guys. Um, I'm really excited to be able to share Keith with you as a maker. Um, and I'm really excited to try out some new things with this JD. Uh, and of course, who wouldn't be pumped to have this beautiful Thorburn? So thanks so much for watching, guys. Obviously, if you want to send me a knife for lovely loners, you can do so by emailing me at tovarishworks at gmail.com. I would love for you to follow me on Instagram to see beautiful uh, pictures of all these awesome knives. You can do so. Um, by following me at Tavarish Works. Um, and just thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.